Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, a late night rally, 2022 Panini Prism World Cup coming at you. Six box, half case, pick your team number eight. There's a combo team spot that we sold as well. This break sold out straight up. Now eight sold out before seven. So we got it first to fill, first to break. So we're gonna do eight first. There we go, on Wednesday the 16th, pick your team eight. Dennis going double last spot mojo with the uh, with Brazil and Portugal. Scared money don't make money. So let's see if this case comes through for him. There you go. Yeah, there he is. Thank you, Dennis. And there's there's Robert with the 11-team combo featuring those teams right here. All card ship. And um, this is an awkward size case here. Let me just rip it open here. All card ship. And this is a World Cup promo spot as well. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's names and then see who wins that spot. Two, three, four. Five and six. Got six right here. And the other six we'll put right over here and then we'll roll the die. Wow, Dennis says, don't think I've ever bought into soccer. I know very little about soccer. Well, I appreciate your, <laughs> your boldness even more then. But I suppose you can kind of do the, you can kind of do the math, right? The expensive teams are probably the better teams, which they are. Um, you know, most times you're getting what you pay for, right? Now, just the case just has to cooperate. One, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. And it's three. We're going to do the left side right here. So this is pick your team eight. This side we will save for break seven, pick your team seven, which is in a filler right now. So we'll mark those seven so we know that they're from the same case. There you go. And here we go. He got Brazil and Portugal. Still, I mean, Brazil's all, you know, obviously some great teams there or great players that you can get there. And Portugal, I'm sure you know or at least have heard of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Plays for Manchester United. You know, he probably has one of the, maybe one of the people that has the most followers on social media in the world. And he's Portuguese, so hopefully we'll find some of those here. And you get a chance to, uh, you got a chance to win a World Cup spot, a promo spot. If you win that promo spot, and we ran eventually when all those spots are gone, we'll randomize everybody's name. We'll randomize you a team, and then. Um, you get to kind of track that team throughout the World Cup. And if they, if it's a bad team, you still might win some prizes. All the details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. But... All right, so this is the first of six. This is pick your team eight, which filled before seven. Seven's locked away and in some fillers, but I'm sure we'll get... We'll get those knocked out tomorrow. One autograph per box on average. All card ship. And away we go. We got Noah Lang for the Netherlands. That is for Matthew. We got Noah Lang Silver. That's for the Netherlands. That's for Matthew.
We've got Yusef Polson, 001 out of 299. Blue parallel for Denmark, that'll be for Brett. Jonathan David, one of the bigger names for uh, for Canada. And behind Kai Havertz is Bar Bakare Sanya. International ink for Le Bleu. Chad Cromwell picked up France straight up on the board with the first of six autos here. We got red Ivan Perisic to 399. Global uh, reach, global reach, Fabinho for Brazil. We got Julian Alvarez, rookie cracked ice. Those are not numbered, but still nice. Argentina, Aaron with Argentina. Now, even these base rookie cards, if you get those, um, it's worth looking up. You know, you may be surprised at some of the value of these, uh, of just even base rookie cards. Not all of them, but, but some guys. Uh, there's Ismaili Sar, 44 out of 99, Senegal. And might be worth holding on to these guys for another four years, especially the rookies, because, you know, next time, the next World Cup in four years will be in North America. So if you thought interest in the World Cup was, you know, was big now, just wait till it's here. There's Rafael Liao, 12 out of 299. Or Lao, I think, more of a Liao, Liao. I don't know Portuguese, not good at that. That's gonna go to, uh, it's gonna go to Dennis. Got Portugal, straight up. All right, next box. Let's see if we can find some of his Portuguese teammates, Cristiano Ronaldo, João Filish. Uh, Liverpool, that's my club, my, the English Premier Club, league club that I follow. Diogo Jota is on that team as well. Portugal has a decent blend of sort of young, exciting talent, balanced with uh, a, a, a crafty vet. I guess Cristiano Ronaldo is now like a, a crafty veteran player now, older guy. You know, with a little bit of luck, you know, they, they may they may be getting into should be able to get into the knockout stages of the World Cup. But I guess it's supposed to depend on what group they're in. I haven't memorized the groups yet. They're in the Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, South Korea group. They should be able to be in the top two there to advance. Portugal's got to be one of the top two. And then it probably comes down to either Ghana or Uruguay. Not sure if South Korea is going to do. I mean, unless Hyun Min Son just goes off, but not sure if South Korea is going to do too much in that group. All right, next box. We got Tyler Adams for the United States. Pink parallel, not numbered. Kim Soo Min, hello. No love for Korea. I mean, 
if if Hyunmin Son goes off, I suppose he could do it. He's, he he could probably carry the team, but I don't know. Realist, I'd like. I mean, I'd like to see. Them. I'm sure my parents would love to see them advance to group stages. You know, every every World Cup they'll they'll bring up a, a goose hitting story. You know, but. I don't know. This year might not be the year. There's Sergei Gnabry for the Germans. That'll go to Kurt in Germany. There's João Cancelo. 26 out of 75. Blue Mojo. Dennis in Portugal. There's Ricardo Pepe and Gabriel Martinelli for Brazil. I forgot about this guy, Dennis. Plays for uh, Arsenal and uh, one of the uh, one of the bright young stars in the English Premier League and in Brazil. Ricardo Pepe, of course, not on our World Cup squad, Ryan Ryan Heinz, but definitely in four years, I'm sure. How old is Gabriel Martin? That guy, kid's only 21 years old, so. This could be a could be a breakout World Cup for him. And I mean in 4 years he'll be he'll be getting into uh, he'll be getting into his prime. Uh, 118 out of 199, Huang Hee-chan for Korea. There's Marcelo Flores. It's a rookie hyper for L3. That would be for Daniel Smith. There's Diago Jota. Philip Coutinho, former Liverpool man. And we got a red Jonathan David, 73 out of 399. Not really great on that center, you can tell right away, but Grant with Canada. Canadians look great in the uh, in World Cup qualifying. Could they be could they be an upset story? I don't I don't think Vegas really favors them a lot. Anyone have any World Cup up, upset specials that they have thinking that, that, that are brewing? There's always, there's always an upset. Those, these groups aren't always chalk. You know, soccer is a game with very high variance, right? With so few goals being scored. You know, a tie game and a point could suddenly turn into a loss with some crazy goal in the dying minutes of the game. And since, you know, this is, and it's, this is tournament football, right? Tournament soccer. You know, players are giving it their all. This comes around at once every four years, so... You know, I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll catch a lot of teams. I don't think you'll catch a lot of individual players. Uh, you know, playing low effort soccer. You know, unless the team's getting blown out, I think they'll be. They'll be playing their hardest till the last minute of the game. So 
So maybe like a big, you know, a, a big soccer rich country, if they take their foot off the gas just for a little bit against some of these smaller teams, bang, upset. We got Mikkel Damsgaard, 8 out of 75. For the Danes, Brett. There's Alistair Johnson for Canada, rookie silver for Grant. There is a red Adam Messina, 321 out of 399 for Morocco. That'll be part of the 11 team combo for Robert. That spot actually has a lot of, a lot of value in that spot. And we got for Serbia, Pedrog Rakovic, rookie cracked ice. For Serbia. That's part of the combo. Jack Grealish for England. More Gabriel Martinelli. And for Wales, there's Ethan uh, Apadu, Ampadu. Two, uh, 215 out of 299. That's going to go to John with the whale spot. It's killing Mbappe. Bright young star for France. That's going to be for Chad Cromwell. Not his rookie, but he's pretty good. The French could be, could be looking at a great World Cup run. All right, behind Furuhashi is, it's Jan Vertanyan for Belgium, International Inc. autograph for Mark and the Belgians. There's Albert Sambi Lakonga, 148 out of 199 for Belgium. Zoom in is saying World Cup upset, Korea goes to the quarterfinals. That would be an amazing run. There's Nuno Mendes, rookie pink, for Dennis in Portugal. I mean, all the bookies saying uh, Korea to advance. Let's see, well, let me just grab some random website. odds here not just to win group odds to win Korea's at plus 1100 I guess they're just as same odds as Ghana Portugal's the favorite minus 154 Uruguay's plus 200 and then Ghana and uh, Korea 11 to 1 hmm It's a bold take. I think the trouble is, I think group H is where Korea is and is gonna be facing group G. 
which includes Brazil. If Korea, if, if, if I'm doing my brackets correct, if I, if I have the brackets correct in my head, that means if Brazil wins that group, they're going to face the runners-up of Group H, which is most likely what Korea is going to be if they advance. E. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be tough. Now, if somehow Brazil is not, I mean, or if Korea wins the group outright, then then things can get a little spicy. There's Jao Felish. There's a, uh, oh, oh, two numbered cards for back to back. We got Yoshida, 70 out of 399. That's for Japan, that'll be for Mark. And then we've got Rodri for España, that's for Raymond in Spain, 18 out of 25. Some Gopko right there as well. We've got Adam Messina, rookie silver for Morocco. That's going to go to the combo spot, Robert. We got Lovro Majer, 128 out of 199 for Croatia. That'll be for Robert. I guess, they, they, I guess Korea's got some youngsters here. Kim Min Jae. I don't know too much about that Korea squad. Am I underrating the Koreans? In a general sense, I, th I feel like I feel like Vegas does underrate, just because just not not a you know not as much uh, attention or knowledge about kind of the markets outside of South America and Europe. Sometimes the, the odds get underrated. There's Adeyemi, Karim Adeyemi for Kurt in Germany. You know, the odds are a little underrated for, uh, like, African teams and Asian teams. Ooh, Lionel Messi. Wow. Lionel Messi autograph. Aaron Billingsley for Argentina. Ooh. Not numbered, but this is the stuff that we're looking for. I don't know. I, I doubt that Aaron Billingsley is in the chat right now. He's probably going to wake up tomorrow morning. And that is nice. We've got Diago Costa, 3 out of 10 for Portugal. That's for Dennis. Dennis has just got an offer from a seller on eBay for a Pulisic manga. I think, I don't know, double check the prices on that, but I know those are, are, are short printed. We got Denzel Dumfries, pink rookie. Might be Messi's last, probably is Messi's last World Cup. It's Kaylor Navas. All right, two boxes to go. Offers for 700. Wait for you to buy or are you selling it? For you to buy. I can't make that decision for you, Dennis. But I would cross-reference it with prices for other similar cards. Like I said, I, I, 
I'm not sure what the market's going to look look like in four years, but my guess is that with the World Cup being in North America, that, that attention for the World Cup will probably be um, at a level that we have not seen. I mean, the World Cup hasn't been in the United States since 1994, I want to say. So a lot has changed in the soccer landscape since the mid-90s. You know, interest in soccer is at probably at the highest it's ever been and grown just for international soccer. You know, the, the women's game definitely helped raise the profile of soccer in the United States. You know, the, the strength of the MLS, you know, has helped, you know, an explosion of interest in the Premier League in the last 10, 15 years. So a lot has changed since 1994. But if you're buying, my guess is that the prices are probably the highest now, right? You know, I'm sure interest will sort of dip after the World Cup. And then that might be a good spot to, to try to see if there's any hanging around for you to buy. There's uh, Akram Hassan... Uh, Afif for a cutter. Sadio Mane for Senegal, former Liverpool man. Who, if he's healthy, that Senegal team could be pretty interesting too. Uh, 113 out of 299, Timothy Castagne for Belgium. We got for Denmark, Mohamed Darame, 68 out of 199. Purple parallel for Denmark. That's going to go to Brett. I know, right, Sumin? in Kim Soo in might be lagging behind a little bit, but reacting a little late. But uh, if you click that live button if you want to. There's Moises uh, Caicedo for Ecuador. That's going to be part of that 11 team combo for Robert. There's another Gabriel Martinelli base, rookie base for Dennis. If we could find a, a low numbered version of that card, that'd be pretty awesome, or a rookie silver. Jacques Cancelo, 309 to 399. Their scores club, Lionel Messi. There's a Mohamed Darame again, this time silver. Now, zoom in saying that Messi around a $3,000 card. And we've got. We've got a Belgian. That's Yannick Carrasco, International Ink Autograph for Mark. We got Dani Olmo, 24 out of 399 for Spain. That's for Raymond. Last box, sixth and final box coming up in Pick Your Team 8. Appreciate everybody getting in on this late. Uh, well, especially Dennis, who finished off this break late at night. I appreciate that. The first half, this is break, pick your team eight, sold out straight up. The first half, or the other half, is in a filler. If we get that, we can get that knocked out. We'll get the other one going, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If the Lionel Messi card is like 3000 bucks now, you know, then who, like, what could it be if, if Argentina ends up winning the World Cup? I think anything, I think anything Messi related 
you know, would, would surely see a, a boost in value, that's for sure. All right, final, sixth and final box. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. The auto popping early, it looks orange. Oh, it's for England. Connor Cody, International Inc. I was fooled by the color on the back. Chad Cromwell with the three lions. All right, so the auto popping early. There's Ampadu again to 99. Red Mojo for Wales, that's gonna be for John. Let's see what else we got here. Ivan Perisic. Maybe some low numbered parallels for some teams for some silver, rookie silvers will be nice. Is it okay if I put these in here? Yeah, go for it. There's Diago Costa, rookie hyper. For Portugal, Dennis Moore. Jonathan David for Canada. Is this still all Wednesday stuff? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Got John Stone's red for the three lines. 321 out of 399. And we got Uriel Atuna for L3. That'll be for Daniel in Mexico. We got 224 at 299. Yasser Al Charani for Saudi Arabia. I know Qatar's the host country, but Saudi Arabia is right next door. There'll be a lot of Saudi support there. I wonder if. There's a bit of a home field advantage. That usually helps the host countries. There's Gonzalo Montiel, rookie cracked ice. For Argentina, Aaron. Good morning, Aaron, if you're watching this video in the morning. Nice break for you. Alfonso Davies. And we've got a Abdul Karim Hassan for Cutter. I don't know why that was flipped around, but I'll, I'll, I'll load it up. That goes to Robert. Sometimes they're flipped around for no reason. Sometimes it could be a variation. Ooh, and a Gareth Bale landmarks card. Nice for Wales, John McCormick with the Welshman. This is what, if you've never been to Wales, this is exactly what it looks like. I mean, you probably don't even need to go now. Castles and sheep and dragons. It's exactly what it looks like. You don't even need to go anymore. There you go, John. We've got, there's Harry Kane Scores Club to 299. Joachim uh, Mile for Denmark. Blue for Brett. And... That, my friend. And the Julian Alvarez rookie silver. We're not done yet. For Argentina, Aaron. Very nice. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Real solid stuff here. Appreciate everybody watching and getting in. Man, what a break. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, I got to do a randomizer. I will see you next time in just a little bit. First, we've got to give away a World Cup spot. Let's gather everybody's names, new dice, new list, name on top after name on top after seven, five and a two, seven times. 
We'll get into that World Cup promo. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Random.org, little wheel spinning on the tab. There you go, Daniel Smith. After seven, Daniel Smith, congrats to you. You are in the World Cup promo. You're guaranteed a prize. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And once we fill up all those spots, we'll randomize your name. Uh, and we'll see what team you get randomized to watch throughout the World Cup. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.